I'll be showing five new features in OneNote. This includes an improved meeting details and Teams integration, new ink pens, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is a modernized meeting details in OneNote. So I'm on the Home tab here, and over on the right, there's this meeting details button, and that's been there for years, but now there are a couple of nice updates. So I'll click this, and it opens up the pane, and just like before, you can select any day you want in the calendar, and it will read your Outlook automatically. So in this case, I've just got a couple of things. I've got my TPS report status meeting, and this is actually created with Teams. And one of the improvements is some of the Teams integration with meetings, and this is really nice. So I'm gonna select this meeting right here, and it pulls in. This looks pretty similar to the past, but one of the nice updates is you're gonna see Loop Collaborative Notes. Because this is a Teams meeting and Teams supports Loop, automatically, this is right in here. Now this is before the meeting has started, and I'm gonna show what happens after the meeting and some of the improvements. But automatically you can see that it pulls in the Loop Collaborative Notes because this is a Teams meeting. It has the participants, and if there were attachments, they would be here just like in the past. And I can take notes during the meeting. So just like before, if I go into the meeting, I'm taking notes, that will stay just like it is. But what we're gonna do now is go into the Teams meeting and start it up, do a very quick meeting, and then see how this integrates back into the new meeting details in OneNote. So here I am in Teams, I'm gonna open up my TPS status report meeting and click join. Join now. Now I'm here in Teams, you can see that the notes pane is opened up. I have all the other things like before and we're gonna assume that people have joined in. Now first off, I will click more and choose record and transcribe and then start recording and this will also start up the transcription. We'll confirm. Okay, now it's recording the transcription and everything I say. You can see here the transcript is on the right. If I'm talking about TPS reports, all of that good stuff will be captured automatically. Now we're gonna go into notes. Now we have the agenda, so maybe I'm gonna add the agenda topics, all my nice TPS report agenda items, and we're gonna have the notes and some follow-up tasks. And it looks like I got assigned both of those follow-up tasks. Okay, so our meeting is done. I'll go up here, drop this down, and choose end meeting to force the end of the meeting and the recording and everything else. Now I'm here in OneNote and what I'm gonna do is there's this button in the lower right that says refresh all on this page. Now I'm gonna click this and then I'm gonna confirm yes to update all and also anything about my meeting notes will not be changed. Okay, now look what happened. We have a new recordings expanded thing. So now I've got the stream recording and if I wanna go and watch the recording and check out the transcript, I can click here. That takes me right into stream. I can check out the transcript. Everything is right there. So that's really nice that that's integrated. I can also watch this live embedded in OneNote. So click play. You can see here the transcript. There we go. I've got that embedded meeting notes right here. Now also the loop collaborative notes. If I expand this, you can see that all of those loop notes that I was taking during the meeting, they show up right there embedded in OneNote. So I've got my two tasks here, the meeting notes, the agenda, all that good stuff and then it doesn't do anything to the notes that were already listed. So it only updates these chunks right here. And you can expand and collapse them really easily. For Mac and iPad OneNote users, this is in the insider rings right now. It's fully rolled out for the Windows users. The second new feature is support for eyedropper in ink pens in OneNote. So I'm gonna go over to the draw tab right here and I'm gonna add a new pen. And I'm just gonna choose pen and there's this new option, eyedropper. So this allows me to create a pen for any color I want. So I'll click this, and I have the beautiful Bill Lumberg blue shirt. I wanna get the exact color. So there we go, I clicked on his blue shirt, and it's added a nice blue pen up here. So I'm gonna make it nice and fat, and now when I draw with this pen, I get the beautiful shade of Bill Lumberg shirt. So you can choose any color of the rainbow by using that eyedropper. The third new feature is improvements to both PDF and image with ink on top. So I've printed out a PDF file right here onto the page and I'm gonna switch pens to my red pen and this is a PDF image that's been printed. So if I ink on top of that, historically the ink would not stick with it when I moved it. I'll go to selection here. And I'm just gonna click on the picture and when I move it, the ink stays along with that printed out PDF image. If I resize it, that also stays the same. I can move it up here. If I just wanna click once on that ink, I can still select it and move it off, move it back on, now it's stuck again, and then I can move this wherever I want. So nice improvements to images that are printed out, and that can work with PDFs or documents or PowerPoints that you print. And again, you do that by insert file printout right there. 
This also works with photo images. So I've pasted a photo of Bill Lumberg right here. I'm gonna click on the highlighter pen and we're just gonna scribble right on top of him. Now I'll click select, click on the picture and drag it, same thing, size it, same thing. So the ink and the highlighting and the image all stick together automatically and you can still click and move those directly off if you want as well. The fourth new feature is also with ink, and there are two new pen types that have been added to the draw tab here. So the first one is a fountain pen. So I'm gonna click on the fountain pen, and you can change the size and thickness. Maybe you wanna make it a little bit thin, and it's a nice fountain pen. So if I'm writing my name, I'm gonna sign it, it looks super fancy here. Wow, look at that fountain pen. And similarly, we have a brush pen. So for those of you that are really nice inkers, or if you have students that love the detailed touch, in this case, I'm gonna choose a bit bigger thickness and we're gonna go try out the brush pen. Here, we'll write out brush really nicely. So a couple of new pen types for you to experiment with. The fifth new feature is straightening out your ink. So maybe I've got lined paper. This is great if you're taking ink notes. I'm gonna choose lasso select and I'm just gonna circle my name right here. Now I wanna make Mike be a little more aligned to the actual horizontal lines. You can either tap on your selection or right click and I'm gonna get a straighten option. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna straighten that and look a lot nicer on the page. So if you have, I'm a left-hander for example, you're here taking notes and your inking is sort of going down the page at an angle, you can select all of your notes when you're done and say straighten and it can align all of those inked notes that you took. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.